Last week, defending U.S. Open champion Kim Kleisters was at City Field. The 2009 women's singles champ was on the field for batting practice and threw out the ceremonial first pitch prior to the Mets Astros game. It's a, an honor to, to be here and to, to be a part of, a, you know, for me, an American sport because, you know, I, over the last few years, obviously through my husband, I got to, um, to learn more about baseball. So it's, uh, it's fun to actually be here up close. I always enjoyed, you know, meeting other, you know, athletes and, and kind of see and, and get to know, like, what their life is about, actually, because it's so opposite. You know, we, we're, we're all athletes, but we, we play such a different sport and, and we prepare differently. And so it, it's fun to kind of, like I said, get up close and just see how they prepare and, and see, you know, how they warm up before games. For all the latest Mets news and info, and to chat with other Mets fans, visit MetsBlog.com, part of the SNY.TV blog network. Now it's time to take a seat, where we turn the cameras on you, the fans. My name is James Thumper. I'm from Holbrook, and I've been a Mets fan uh, ever since I can remember. Probably started watching most of their games when I was like seven or eight. This is my buddy Jack. I'm here with him at the game today. I've been to most of the Mets games with my dad, but he's... We got these tickets from my buddy Brian, and we're here enjoying the game for free. My all-time favorite Mets is definitely Mike Piazza. 1 0 to Piazza and a high fly ball, deep left center, forget it. That is long, long gone, deep into the night. Piazza gives the Mets the lead. He had such a great flair for the dramatic. He was such a good, so productive, and just, he was great. Right now on this year's team, obviously Wright and Reyes and Santana are great, but I think this year I'm most excited about Ike Davis. Ike Davis with a home run to win it for New York. He's something, he's got a lot of power, he's got a good glove at first base, and I think he's going to be something to watch in the years to come. Coming out to the Mets game, is just, it's my favorite thing to do in the world. It's just, I love the Mets so much, and just coming out to watch him play is phenomenal. I just, I can't get enough of it. Pagan and a beautiful tumbling grab. The person who influenced me most to be a Mets fan is definitely my dad, no question. He took me to the majority of the games I've been to, he's taken me to. Uh, we watch the Mets almost every single night, we talk about the Mets, we always have Mets stuff on, Mets stuff hanging on the wall. It's really great. Ever since I can remember, he would always be watching the Mets and talking to me about the Mets and take me to Shea Stadium, now City Field. It's just a bond that can't be beat. Last week, the Mets introduced first round draft pick Matt Harvey at City Field. Harvey was the seventh overall pick in the 2010 first year player draft. I just want to welcome uh, Matt Harvey, our number one draft pick uh, to the New York Mets. Uh, I want to welcome his family here. Matt, welcome to New York. Welcome to the Mets family. We're very happy to have you. The 21-year-old right-handed pitcher punched out 102 batters in 96 innings as a junior at the University of North Carolina this year. This is the first real summer I've ever had to, you know, have a chance to spend time with my family and, and go on some trips, so it was a lot of fun. I, I got to go fishing with my dad and spend time with my grandfather, and it was a good time being home. Harvey spent his childhood in Connecticut and enjoys seeing City Field. I came to the old Shea Stadium a couple years ago, and you know, growing up in Connecticut, it, I've, you know, the Mets were were my National League team that I was a big fan of. So having the opportunity to to get started in this organization is is very special to me and my family. That does it for this episode of Mets Weekly, presented by Flat Rate Moving. Be sure to tune in next week when we sit down with Jesus Feliciano. He's been beating me, but uh, but you know when 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 he counts, you know I beat him. So in front of the cameras and in front of uh, all New York, I'm the champ. <laughs>